Hey guys, um, not done a video for a while. Um, kind of getting over some at the moment, uh, as always. <coughs> Seems to be the the case with my videos. Um, Let's pull build. Um, where are we? Okay, this is what we got so far. I've wrapped it up for protection. Okay. Um, the nut. If you look on the last video, the nut was quite high, and I had to shave a bit of mill off there just to get it the right height. Um, I've added a nice bit of veneer. Uh, it's called Luffy board. Uh, it's about a mill and a half deep. Okay, um, so it matches. It's on there. Shaped it myself. Um, if you're going to do this and you've got the original tuners, you're going to have a problem um, because the tuners aren't deep enough. So the Grover tuners, sorry, the fake Grover tuners that were in the last video have now been replaced with these. Um, the ones, the Grover tuners were 21mm from the, the the back here to the the hole. And these are 22.5mm to the hole, which allows for the 1.5mm depth of the veneer. Okay, so we got those. We've compensated. We've sold the group Grover tuners, which paid for these. So we haven't lost anything on there. On there. Um, all sanded nicely. Got a bit of eight entry grit on there. I'm trying to be careful as I can. Um, a few dirty marks on here, which I got off with um, white vinegar or distilled vinegar. Okay, so. We're kind of done with the neck for the moment, and that's that. Uh, a few things I've had come in recently. I've had my got my lacquer. There we go, lacquer. We've gone for gloss. Um, I wasn't going to go for gloss, but because uh, I don't like gloss on the neck, but I might sand that down after. Um, so that's that. Okay. Um, Got my strings, any ball number nines. Recommended. Uh, if you've got a Les Paul, yeah, that's recommended. Um, last video, I showed the stickers for the headstock, and I didn't like them because they were raised. So I sold them, and the money I got for those paid for. Some water slide decals. So I got a Gibson, and I've got a Les Paul for the front, and I've got a custom one for the back. So that's the way we're going with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's that. Anything else I've got to tell you? No, still, this is my box of bits. Everything I need in that. Okay, so the next step I've got to do. And if you stay with me, is we're going to put some colour on the body. Okay. And we're going to use Crimson Guitars, Stunning Stains, Brown. Um, some videos I've seen have used black. Um, being a model maker and painter and whatever, if you're going to use black on a as a base colour you're going to make it dead um, so we're going to use brown it's a natural colour I might thin this down 50-50 and uh, go in lightly and see where we go with that so that's my next next step okay okay and Oh, we got over it. It's not very prepared today because it's upside down as well. I forgot. I'll we'll show you that later. Okay, so let's flip this thing over and let's start uh, putting some colour on. Okay, so we're going to use 
Mm. Crimson stains. Brain on this. Okay, um, we have. I'm going to dilute it a little bit. So I've got about a centimetre of water in there. Uh, this is a water based. water based stain. Um, it's got an interesting caution on there. Uh, if you get it in your eyes, wash it out with your tears of foolishness and then go to the tap and rinse again. Okay. Uh, seriously, I don't think you should drink this. It's probably safe, but we're covering our butts. So that's a bit of a Drop from the lads at Crimson Guitars. Okay, so I'm going to shake this up. And put a centimetre's worth of stain in there. Uh, rubber gloves, so I don't get it on my hands. And I'll be questioned later why, why have you got Painting rounds with painting again. Um, so, yeah, so that's that. So, I've got some kitchen towel and this first time for this. And uh, wish me luck. This one. Um, what should happen there is the stain should go straight into the wood, but if there's any glue spots, then um, it should show it. And this is going on very nicely. As I said, my Previously, if you use black, it's going to deaden any colour that you're going to put over the top. That's two gone. Trying to get it even as much as I can, but I will be sanding this off um, before I put the next cover it on. It's two, three, and then. so this is diluted 50-50. It's going on really nice. Things going on heavy, I'm not rinsing any out. Um, this is just the first layer, just to just to see if there's any any glue spots. Really, I think there is a couple of glue spots. So a bit of sanding to do on there, I think. Not sure. I'm trying not to put any lines on this. I'm going to try and backwards and forwards or round and round. It's going to be a better process for this. I 
some areas on this I don't mind it going in heavy because I'm going to go um, over the top again. Um, I might even try and see if I can airbrush this somewhere or somehow. And I think we've got a quite good body. Oh, trying to talk over, give you running commentary. I'm not very good at running commentaries, um, especially on something I know absolutely nothing about. That looks okay. Bit of a seam in there with a bit of glue, I think. A bit, so I'm going to do a bit of sand on that when it dries. Um, a little patch of glue there, uh, there I think. And along there. Wow, I never saw that. Okay, I got I think I've got a bit of sanding to do. And it's just dry. Okay. So that's my first cup. Done. I'm going to leave this to dry. And I'll get back to you. Okay, so we've um, stained this this morning. It's been left to dry for the last eight hours. A um, few things you might notice is there is a glue mark along there. A couple of spots there. 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 There, there, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and sand this out if we can. Uh, bearing in mind that the veneer is about a mil thick. Um, if we can't do anything about it, then um, we're going to burst it. Uh, that means we're going to get a dark colour, whether it's black or brown, and we're going to burst it uh, a bit like... Look, that there. Uh, these are my guitars. Uh, got my cheapo slash AFD there, which cost me about hundred and fifty pounds, and it sounds amazing for the price. And this uh, because I got a bar back, I got a Epiphone Les Paul. SL in a burst and it weighs about yeah weighs about four pound that'll weigh about seven this will weigh about eight seven eight um when it's finished hopefully um so yeah so my next step is we're going to stand this again get most of this color off and we're going to put uh amber stain over the top of it and see where we're going with that and if we can't get rid of this we're going to burst it okay right uh so yeah uh keep following subscribe i ain't bothered well i am but no um so yeah if you want to see me more make more stuff like this or anything else that i got on this channel then please be nice to hear from you Anybody? I need friends. Okay, this is uh, the end of part four. Next bit, sanding and trying to sort this out, and I'll get catch up with you. Cheers, guys.